Welcome to my doghouse. Hope you're all having a great evening. This is about something that took place in Otter Creek with the police officers, a couple of them. And I'm not going to show his video on here. You really need to go look at this video. It's on Living the Country Life with Thomas Collins. No, I'm not really a big fan. I don't mind him. But when he does his scrapping and stuff, I do enjoy that. His political views are really, and the people he's hung around with on that end, I question a lot. But that's his opinion, and he's got the right to do that. So remember this on this. Yeah, him and a couple of other people, I take it, went and picked up some cars to buy from a guy, then they they junk them out and that. So evidently, I'm not sure whether this is the guy that lives right by it or his dad had it or what. That was never really explained in the video. But this guy is just bat shit crazy. And he was. It's almost like he, I can't say he was, but he could have very well been on something. And his dad was standing in front of him. What? Well, what started it before that is Thomas got paint through it on him and a rock threw at him for whatever reason. And I don't know if it was him, this other guy's brother, because he really didn't go into it as to who was doing what. But Anyway, they called the cops because of the harassment of this guy. And believe me, his mouth was as foul as it gets. And he did deserve to be arrested for what he did. Don't get me wrong. And if they wouldn't arrest him, I would have been hollering that he should have got away with it. Well, anyway... One of the guys, evidently, is this other one's brother. And I don't know if it was him, or if they're talking about Thomas, or the other guy that was there. They're calling him a snitch. This guy was very upset. One of them was a snitch. Which, in Otter Creek, it seems like there's a big problem there anyway. But what I'm getting at here is... After all this argument, they didn't. Supposedly, Thomas got paint thrown on him in the rock. They called the police. The police arrived. Well, and like I said, this guy was all mouth and foul mouth, like you couldn't believe. Well, they arrest him, put him in handcuffs, and he's still mouthing off to the cops. But he wasn't. He was under containment. So what happened next, and this is why you need to really watch this video for, but he was under in containment. It looked like maybe he was trying to not walk, walk like he should be. The other cop grabbed his under, other arm, threw him on the ground viciously, not, not just take him down. It was vicious. Then when he got him up, they went a little ways, and it's like he was dragging his feet. Whether he was hurt from the other, I don't know. But then they slammed him up against the car, the one police officer, and started kneeing him. Now, to me, that was wrong. You had him under control. You should have just pushed him up against the car. There was no nece necessity to sit there and jab him with your leg. Then supposedly, and this is where Otter Creek has a downfall into only having a voice and not webcam. Supposedly, the guy spit on the cop. And that's one of the charges he's got after he got him in. Now, granted, it seemed like these guys already knew about this guy. And like I said, because of the area it's in, and I think he was on something. I ain't saying he was. In my opinion, he could have very well been. 
but still, they had him under control and all that. Yeah, he's going to fight anyway. You can get him for resisting without violence at that point. You don't need to do violence. Although it was very, very much justified. This is bad. You can look at that video, what this guy was doing. But even at that, and I've worked for a guy that had a side business. His dad, I worked for him, was both of them were cops. I come from a family where the police officers are in, or were in it, we're all older now. And so this isn't nothing against the police officers because at first it was done right and the corporal did his job. It was the other guy that got us excessive, in my opinion, Maybe it's just borderline and he'll get away with it, which is possible. But to me, it was not necessary. And I'm not defending that guy with the foul mouth at all. He deserved being in jail for what he had been doing previously before they got there, assaulting people. But they didn't get him on them assault charges from the other two guys. They got him for what he did to the police officers, supposedly spitting on him. Where, when in the hell are you going to get body cams instead of just the voice? And maybe it comes down to, you know, there's other people that's caused problems in that town. And maybe they're just tired of any time they go to Otter Creek, there's going to be a problem. They're tired of it as police officers. They're tired of getting called names, whether it's justified or not. People putting them out there on a totem pole when they're wrong. And this all could be part of the problem, too. But that don't give the police officers the excuse to do what he did. I could see him not doing anything, but what that police officer did... He should be reprimanded for it or kicked off the police force because it was very much not necessary. I don't care if he was mad at somebody and one of them, whoever it was, whichever one was being called a snitch. And yeah, you could hear his brother kind of egging things on too when he was getting upset. But still, it had his outrage and what the police did were two different things and should be looked at two different things. They were very much in the right to arrest him, but the police officer, in my opinion, used ex excessive force to take him in when it wasn't necessary and he was in the cuffs. He really wasn't resisting that I seen of when they got in the car, I think, where they say, officer said he got spit on, which I don't know because you can't tell with the voice. No, I wasn't there, and I don't claim to know anything about any of these individuals. Don't get me wrong. I'm just going with what is out there and what was put out there. And I know there's problems there in Otter Creek. And it's not going to stop anytime soon. And like I said, some of it, I think the police is getting tired of it. The residents are tired of it. But the police officers had every right to remove this guy. Supposedly, he's like 39 years old and with his dad. So, you know, and like I said, in my opinion, he could have very well been on something. But that's still not the excuse for the police officers to use abuse like they did. I shouldn't say police officer. It was one. Not both of them, the one. So I really encourage you to go to live in the country life with Thomas Collins. And I'm not a promoter of anybody on here, really. But you want to see a real story really happening real time I mean obviously because it was on video 
and what really happened and your opinion, go to Live in the Country Life with Thomas Collins, Otter Creek, Florida, and make your own mind up and how much was justified and how much was not justified. Thanks, guys.